Good morning, YouTube, Facebook, Cleaners Connect. I give a shout out to Cleaners Connect as always. Um, I am back in Atlanta from Mikey's Fest, and I just want to give my analysis of um, Mikey Fest. I'm about to do a couple videos, but as a matter of fact, I'm going to talk more about um, going, why we went, and, and why you should go, why you should consider an event similar to that. Maybe not that particular event, but it's the one that has access uh, amongst the people that are in our circle. So I want to talk about that, and I'm going to do another video on the details of it, how it went, who we were around, and, and why it was important. So I'm pulling off from my office. Um, to head out, take care of my customers today. You know, I thank God for Him blessing me today to have good customers to go service. But I'm going to get to the point um, of this video, and the title of this video is called A Kairos Moment. A Kairos moment. See, guys, a Kairos moment, and you can look it up, Google it, find out a definition of it. Um, a Kairos moment is a moment in time. I'm going to make it really simple. A Kairos moment is a moment in time in your life that is, is the perfect time to strike. Perfect time, perfect time to make Turn a decision. A perfect King time Jr. to take Drive action. Southwest, then take the first right. As you know, you hear those GPS. You know, I do videos while I'm out in the field because I want Turn to right on Fulton Industrial Boulevard give you guys, Southwest. Give you guys a real, um, the real thought processes of me while I'm out in the field, and um, that's why you hear those GPS units. But anyways, back to the Kairos moment. It's a moment in time for you to take action. It's that perfect moment for you to do something. In two miles, turn right on Donald Lee Hollowell Parkway Northwest. I'm pausing to allow the GPSs to say what they're gonna say. I gotta have the GPSs up in Atlanta because the traffic is challenging, to say the least. But, back to my title of this video, A Kairos Moment. I'm gonna get right to the point of us going to Mikey Fest to serve, to network, to fellowship, and overall to better ourselves from the inside out. You know, Courtney Lee, um, Chad Mays and myself, we get messages and comments and stuff on post and uh, from guys. And in reference to Mikey Fest, we get comments where, oh man, I see you guys at the next one. Oh man, you know, I didn't know about it. Um, oh man, you know, I had, I, had, I had some big cleanings to do. You know, guys, at the end of the day, you know, if you was a local guy in South Carolina or you or Atlanta, I still consider you local in Atlanta, and you have, a, you have an opportunity to give back, to serve, and you have an opportunity to network and to um, socialize and to fellowship with other leaders in your industry, and you don't do it. Those are moments that you miss. They're never gonna come back. There is no, I see you at the next one. one. There's only Turn one right moment on in time. Hollowell Parkway Northwest, then take the second left. There's only one moment in time that what we did this weekend will exist. It's over. You're never gonna get that. And then you know, we've heard some say, well, how many black people are gonna be there? How, what's going to be the percentage? This, of course, this is coming from black folks. Um, why does that matter? If you're black, why wouldn't you dare to have the percentage? Turn right at the traffic light, then take the second left. If you're not a giver and you care less about other people other than yourself, then don't do it. But don't make excuses on why you don't take action at the right moment in time. 
you know, the right moment in time is very, very important. That's why I always believe that you don't, you need to be not disingenuous, but to be in line with your spirit, what is righteous for you to do, because there are moments throughout your day, there are moments throughout your year, there are moments throughout your month, uh, there's moments in the next few minutes for you to make the right decision to do what you need to do. And then we have those big moments. And that's what people would probably use the word Kairos because there are those big moments in your life where you make the right decision, it propels you in the right direction on where you need to go in your life, on who you may need to influence in your life, who you may need to serve in your life or what is going to produce for you the next decade you know so guys stop missing your kairos moment stop missing those moments the time to learn the time to share the time to give the time to receive when you you are missing when you we make excuses i mean for a carpet cleaner a tile cleaner for a cleaner period to say well i got to do a cleaning Oh, and you and everybody else could have been working and cleaning during that time. You know, and then some some of us want to have some influence. Some of us want to be seen as a leader. Some of us want people to listen to when we talk, but you don't serve nobody. You don't do anything. Why would anybody listen to you? You don't bring anything of value with your voice. You don't bring anything of value with your action. If you really feel like you're a person that can have something to give back, Turn you, left that you can help, light. that you might can help somebody with a particular area of business, you have to give. You have to make those decisions. You have to take those moments and sacrifice and be obedient to your spirit when you need to do it. Uh, you know, for people to come to Mikey Fest or an event similar to that, but Cleaners Connect was promoting micro, Mikey Fest for months. There was opportunity for many people to come. You could drive less than two hours or a little over two hours to get to Mikey Fest, to get to Ronald McDonald House to serve. It's a sacrifice. Nobody got paid to do this. As a matter of fact, we gave to do this. I lent a lot of my tools. I brought my truck. I paid, I mean, I paid. People paid to come. We paid our 50 bucks, which is donated to the house. In order for you to learn how to be a leader, uh, or to be a better follower, or to be a better cleaner, or to understand a process, or to understand some agents, or to understand how to use your equipment even more efficiently, this, this, this is priceless information. This is priceless relationship, priceless fellowship. And excuses will continue to hold you down. Excuses are like buttholes. Everybody has one. At some point in your life, you got to sacrifice. To step out of yourself and to make it happen. If, you, if you're not a leader, if you're not a great follower, then sit in the back. And one thing I learned by being on social media, especially with Cleaners Connect, by going to, by going and providing service and giving up myself. I'm not perfect, but what I, what I learned, I have learned, is that a lot of people just talk. Just talk. I'm the best cleaner. That's, I'm this. Oh, I can do that better than you with less. People just talk. But how many people give? How many people share? How many people love? How many people lay down their ego to serve their brother better? That's why I never that's why I always be irritated by carpet cleaners in our industry. Because sometimes we function at such a low level, it's ridiculous. Arguments about how you the best cleaner. Arguments about I spend way less money than you. Or arguments about I pay everything cash. Or oh 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 yeah, that's too expensive. Or y'all are crazy. You ain't gotta do it this way. And all this kind of stuff. You're not a god. Your way ain't the best way. 
It ain't the only way. We have to think for ourselves. If you share your way, if your way that you do it, you don't spend much in doing things, share how you do that. Then maybe somebody can apply that in their business, in their life, and you'll be blessed for that. If someone buys something expensive and why they did it, they can share that. That's true leadership. That's true love. You, we will be judged by how we love one another. And if you don't love other people, then you're gonna always be bitter at the bottom. No matter how much money you make, no matter how good you think you look, you're gonna be nothing but at the bottom. And we don't function that way. The leadership at Cleaners Connect, the leadership at Mikey's Fest, we're out to function at the top. We're out to function uh, at the top percent of the industry. Because at the end of the day, that's who's gonna get the most done. Those at the top and functioning and thinking on top as a small percentage of the people to lead and guide those who would like to do the same thing. You know, I was taught in faith that the mark of a mature Christian or a mature person or a mature, mature faith leader is discernment. Being able to discern the time that you need to take action. Being able to decipher what is good and what is evil. And so that's why that Kairos moment is very, very important. If you know you, you see an event, you see an opportunity, and you, and you feel like that time is right, that's going to that's gonna come time, they're going to they're gonna come excuses, they're going to come, you got low energy. I talked about that in my speech at Mikey's Fest. Discipline, not energy. Discipline is simply doing what you're supposed to do when you're supposed to do it. Regardless of what you're facing. So guys, up your discipline, step up, and be discerning your Kairos moments. Discern those moments so that you don't miss opportunities. There is no tomorrow. There's only now. You will never be able to experience the Mikey Fest that was done. That was unique. That was purposeful. That was that one moment in time for those that were there. And those that you that should have been there, you know you should have been there. You need to clear that up with your heart. You need to clear that up with your confession. And look for your next opportunity. Because when you say, oh, I had to do a job, I see you guys at the next one. Real leadership, those that have real vision, just laugh. Like, whatever, dude. That's an excuse. So let's understand what a Kairos moment is in time and apply it to our life and make those decisions. And when the opportunity is there, strike. Strike. Anybody that has any success is going to tell you that you got to strike at the right moment and not be afraid. So guys, look for your Kairos moment. Stop making excuses and look for your Kairos moment. And you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to have an excellent day and I'm going to share this video all over the internet. Thank you for viewing.